Fine, what's up? The way my ways they pay me. Yeah. Hmm. Go figure say. Oh, but <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up, people? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, pardon me, I'll be smiling a lot. There's someone in the background who isn't supposed to be here. Ideally, ideally, I like to sack them from this house before I shoot. But today they are here and they're already tormenting me. Okay, so let me see me smiling plenty. Just take it out. No <laughs> more What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. Have you subscribed yet? It's about to get wild. Though. If you don't subscribe, you slack. Oh. So, I'm going to be potting some plants, okay? And I've had a few questions come in about my plant journey. So, I'm going to use this opportunity to tell you guys about it, okay? So that when we start this journey and we're flying together, you know you were here first. And you know you saw me start. And that makes you top member. <laughs> so let's get to it. Um, I'll be potting a couple of plants while I'm potting it. We'll have a conversation. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I have 14 questions to answer. It may be. Okay. So, question number one. So, is you? Hmm. What made you start gardening? What made me start gardening? It's a funny story, actually. But I think it's one that we can all learn from. Um. Hopefully, it inspires someone else who doesn't know where to turn, okay? So, what made me start gardening? Hmm. Amazing. The thing we say, then that time, I'm tired. we are stressed. 14 years working um so usually what i do is when i'm potting a plant i look for an old leaf okay and i usually keep them really close <laughs> like i just stick them in there but i look for an old leaf and then i use it to base the pot All right i'll answer the question relax i just want to show you something i used to base the pot so that all the sand and the soil doesn't just drip out like you have on this table right now. Drip, 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 drip. So I usually keep my old leaves. You see, that's one of the things plants taught me. Even in death, they are important. Yeah. So Hmm. The question again. What made you start gardening? Honestly, it was an accident. Okay. I was looking for an outlet. Um, I had been very stressed and very sick for a while. And I started learning or reading about how to keep my air clean so that I feel better mind you um i was getting crazy crazy rapid back to back to back to back to back like it was just back to back to back asthmatic attacks um 
allergic reactions. It was like I was allergic to everything. Okay. And so I read somewhere that oh plants can purify your so then all I say saw and yet hold my whiskey. Because there's something about me, yeah. I do not believe in staying down. So if something keeps me down, I would do everything in my power to get out of it. So I needed to beat this asthma or whatever it was. Asthma, chronic allergies, whatever it was. I needed to beat it. Okay. So that was it for me, really. That was how it started. Well, I was on medication. So don't go and do pray for me or take the medicine. <laughs> I was on medication um, from time to time. Oh, what was the question again? Uh, how did you start gardening? Yeah, so Charlie, I needed to do something about it, okay? So what I did was to find something. Mind you, I'm a very... I get really attached to whatever I'm interested in and whatever I love. I spend time to learn about it. Like, I go all out when I'm in love. So I guess when I found all that, if you have plants, you can stay alive longer. And you won't have allergies. At least they'll clean your air small. I was like, sign me up you know and for me that's how it started really it went on to become something else but maybe someday we'll get into the really deep side of why i started gardening but for now i guess the answer would be i was going through it then human being take took my eye way then are sick to implant it humans are not the only cool things in the world that are living things so they came to my rescue that is why even though my dop slack make i lose my video you know they pay me like that first i like the way i will fix But everything is just so calm right now that it takes a lot to get me angry. So yeah, if you are short-tempered, I recommend gardening. Okay. It teaches you a lot. It teaches you a lot about patience. <laughs> because what will you do if the plants, the, the, the new leaf is not coming? What will you do? You fight. I'm <laughs> you know but essentially yeah it's a nice thing to indulge in it's common just like apart from what having plants do for us or what having plants in our spaces do for us i think for me one of the things we overlook a lot is the what it does for our mental health you know and how it calms us down and how it makes us feel honestly i think we don't give them enough credit so next question what plants best work for you do you know the name of this plant do you know the name of this plant if you do drop a comment who knows maybe i'll go take that shit <laughs> if you know the name link up in the comment section let's see how well you know your plants if you don't go and google it so if you google it i'll know because when and i'll ask you a question so yeah but moving on almost a day 
plants that work for you i think aeroids work for me so aeroids are a family of plants they come in different shapes and sizes this is a chinese evergreen but it's an aeroid um syngoniums are aeroids but i was about to propagate this syngonium so let me pull some out and show you syngoniums are aeroids i love syngoniums honestly guys like it is one of the best like if you are always killing your plants but you like to give plants attention and so you the auntie the killer if you say you do over water them oh charlie yeah okay the old leaf you want to cut but this is a syngonium i have about eight or more varieties but yeah syngoniums um porthos porthos the yeah. they love porthos and i are sharing i can't explain it you know i can't explain yeah i'm always feeling good when it has to do with porthos like I don't know if it's because it's called devil's ivy like yeah but i think another plant that really works for me is the ivy plant a friend thought his was dying brought it back to life the one that i traveled and came back you know i was looking sad and dying brought it back to life so yeah i think aeroids work very well for me creepers basically i love creeping plants i don't know if it has to do with my name but it is what it is yeah so that's what it is and it is what it is so yeah for me i think my best plants are steroids philodendrons i mean porthoses philodendrons Heathlilies, philodendrons, satin pothos, spider plants. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, so like, as you can see, that's what I have all around me. So more pothos is Chinese evergreens. Like, it comes so easy to me. I think we have a connection. Yeah. What else? What else? Habere pambere. What's the next question hmm why do you think they are easy to take care of okay this i can tell you i am a very caring person this is not a marketing ad but i tend to pay very like i don't know if it's a trauma response but i really enjoy taking care of people I don't know if it's a firstborn thing. I enjoy taking care of things. Um, I always want to see things thrive. And so I give it a lot of attention. Sometimes I over care. Then the big took my eye. Those things. Yes. I think that these plants require not too much care. But they will thrive as long as you give them water. In a good spot with lights like literally that's all you have to do like they will just be there and they'll be happy and they'll be vibing and they'll be there for you like they'll just be there for you when the others are they grow really fast and there's just something about waking up almost every week and seeing a new leaf like you know and that's what these plants do so i think that's probably why it comes to me easy i think it's because what was the question oh yeah why did it why do you think taking care of it? yeah so for me i struggle with snake plants the plant that all of you say that's easy to take care of no that's what i struggle with because um i care too much so i end up checking on the snake plant too much or watering it too much so i have killed a couple of snake plants in my lifetime 
I mean, not entirely killed. I always just, when I see they are dying, dying, then I'll take them outside. Then I'll forget about them. Then they'll be fine again. It's, it's a toxic relationship. <laughs> but that's what it is. Um, but for these ones, they come to me really easy. Like, you know. So what's the next question? Hmm. What types of plants stresses you out the most? <laughs> <laughs> snake plants okay there i said it everybody just pretends like the snake plants is the best easiest plant to take care of i i haven't figured the bitch out listen she's like i want water i don't want water i'm not ready i'm ready like give it to me don't give it please tell me what you want you know so yeah i know that everybody's gonna say oh, how snake plant is supposed to be the easiest thing well it's not for me okay it's not um my only snake plants that are doing well are the ones outside and it's because i pay more attention to the plants inside than the ones outside plants don't come to me easy at all but these days i'm doing well with them um what other plants Oh yeah, there's this plant. I love the plant so much. But I have bought it three times. In fact, after the first buy, anytime I go, I go like, dear gardener, I have killed a plant again. They will give me a new one. Then the plant will die again. It's called a Persian shield. I would put a picture somewhere. But it's called the Persian shield. It's a pretty plant okay and it's just gorgeous if you know me you know my favorite color is purple but i mean yes it's a purple plant no my genibia i don't know i i don't get it okay yeah so i think those are the plants that yeah everybody has i think everybody depending so when people ask me what plants should they start with? I find it difficult to give them like a straight answer because it depends on your personality. For me, I think it is. If you're a forgetful person, okay, or you're hardly ever around, I'll tell you to go for like a snake plant, a cactus, um, you know, like a succulent, those type of plants, you know, because... Um, they don't care like those those plants can go without water for up to a month some of them like like they'll just be looking at you like thank you yeah whatever you know but they can go without water for so long so if you're a busy person yada yada yeah yeah you want to keep those type of plants cool you works for you not for me so yeah i think that the type of plants you keep also tells a lot about who you are, um, what interests you, and stuff like that. Because, you, if you are too caring, you kill a snake plant all the time. If you are caring, and you are always, I don't mean you people <laughs> that you are not caring that you you like snake plants or no that's not what i'm saying i'm not saying that because you don't pay attention or you're not but generally there are certain people who can like go and then find you later i feel like or oh, you're just busy the truth is you're busy okay and there's nothing anyone can do about it and you still want to keep the plants in your space yeah i think you should probably go for a succulent snake plant and stuff like that but if you're like me and your work is flexible you have a lot of time on your hands by saying you have a lot of time i mean like you have at least once a week where you can do like a plant care okay? you should join me on this pretty course of aeroids okay they are amazing they are sweet they are pretty like They'll give you new leaves all the time. It's like every time there's a new leaf, you know, depending on the light condition, it will be big or it will be small, but there'll be a leaf. 
and i think that's for me it's really cool so yeah persian shield has been the most difficult for me to take care of so far yeah that's for the snake plants i think i figured them out me number you key you know what's the next question um what's your most affordable plant Maybe, but you won't make GRA can catch me for here. Yeah, Ruby, so my most affordable plant. Well, maybe a portos? No, maybe a snake plant. Yeah, I think portos or snake plant. Snake plant because like it's easy to find. You get like a very big stack of, or you get like very nice set of snake plants. Um, for about 200 to 400 um yeah very big i don't know why but most of the gardeners in ghana they use the size of the plant um so yeah maybe a porthos porthos is a quite affordable yeah porthos i'm trying to look around to see i think it's a portals but not just any portals some portals are expensive i'm talking about the golden portals which is like your everyday portals this one yeah I put, I put it under very harsh light so oh but it's finally responding to treatment look at the new leaf the new leaf is dope these ones were struggling small because I think shoot music video yeah, at this time I'm small. But this is a Porthos, so you can get like a cotton for this for like depending on how well it's been taken care of. Maybe up to this, maybe this chunk for maybe a hundred CDs or something like that. Yeah, so I think my most affordable plants would be a Porthos most expensive plant people want GRE to come for me <laughs> they'll say hey sell our plants boarding you're yes, starting taxi plant and they beg you i don't have an expensive plant <laughs> um hmm yeah i really don't have an expensive plant I think um, they are within range, um, normally priced. I think that the most expensive plants I have seen so far in this Accra Ghana would be the Monstera Albo. Um, a friend is selling it for 4K, very lush, big Monstera. You know the big ones there are like this one has like a white and green vibe to it. I have one, but I'll show you. Mine is not three thousand or four thousand. You are big. Be small, cutting with somebody take link me. But personally, as the most expensive one, that would be very difficult. I don't write down the prices on the plant. <laughs> um yeah there's some plants that's probably on the market to go for yeah no you can get me anyways moving on what are my top five plants top five plants um definitely portos philodendrons like this baby right here this is a philodendron i have a couple of them maybe one day i'll do like a video on all the philodendrons i have and i'll talk about my experiences with them but they're very easy to take care of again depending on your personality yeah um i think porthos philodendron monstera Syngonium, that's three, right? I cut two. Two, quite right there. 
very, very, very. I'm staring at Sulu. Like, I'm literally, oh yeah, Chinese Evergreen. That's for the last one. The last one. Maybe a jade. Maybe a jade. Oh, fans are also really easy to take care of. So yeah, fans will be my five. Yeah. So pothoses, philodendrons, fan, syngoniums, or arrowhead vines, uh, Chinese evergreen. My five top will be that. I think those ones, as long as you're like watering it and you're giving it good what like lighting. Only how like like they don't need much you know yeah some plants they will say you can't water it too much you can't water it too little those things no 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 these ones and i think another thing i like about them is they tell you when they are thirsty like like you would know um if a pothos is thirsty the plants the leaves will drop if uh oh another easy one is uh this baby right here Mwah. That is a peace lily, literally. The name tells you that she's easygoing, she's forgiving. Like she'll forgive you your sins and atrocities. I don't know, like she's so cool. Like she's she's really, really cool. Oh, this leaf is oh, there's a new flower in the corner there somewhere. Yeah, but she's really forgiving. Um sometimes I forget to water her and then a few leaves will dry out, like this one. And then when I remember, I water her and then she'll give me a new leaf and she'll give me flowers. Um, you know, so yeah, I think let's make a six piece lilies. Again, they are all in the same family. That's the secret. So and most of them are like they are the most common house plants because obviously they're easy to take care of and stuff like that. You bab, you bab. What's the next question? What's the most important thing you think every person going into a plant should know? So you guys want me to advise you on what to do or to know when you're going into plants. Um, that should be easy. I think for me, the first thing will be energy. Okay, I believe that if you start it right, if you start it with a good vibe, with a positive energy, you're not already feeling like, hey, I'll kill this plant. Um, yeah, it's more likely to do very well with you. They feel your energy, they sense your vibe, they know. It's like your pet. You know how when you're down, your dog would know. I feel like they know too, you know. Yeah, so I think energy is very important. Um, the reason behind you wanting plants. If it's because everybody has plants, so you are trying to get some so that you look some type of way, yeah, you go kill them. So. But if you're in for, you need them like they need you, yeah, um, you're more likely to have a good experience with them. Um, what else? I think you should stop trusting your local gardener's soil, okay? Um, what I do is, when I buy plants and I come home, I, t I take the soil apart. Um, I don't throw the soil I take apart out. I just compost it. So I would put dry leaves, like Mepraharia. I'm not throwing anything away. They're going back into the soil. And it just keeps the soil healthy and fresh. And then I instead, I use my soil mix yeah i have done a couple of videos on it but i'll probably do like a full youtube video on, on it soon someone is trying to distract me but we refuse it so i think i'm done for today i hope you enjoyed it like i did um i probably would do a lot more of this um very soon i'm I will take you on a tour um, through my 
various collections the indoor the outdoor the balcony the porch the downstairs i'll take you on a tour of that um when i have the time and energy that's the truth but i would also let you see the different gardeners that i work with or i go to my go-to gardens for some of the plants i have um yeah we'll speak to a few from time to time as well and you would realize that each gardener has their strength um and especially and has the plants that appeals more to them has a plant they enjoy growing and all that so you never find all the plants in one garden so it's good to also like it's like shopping for clothes you don't just go to one shop you go to all the various shops because people have different things yeah that's how it works pretty much so i've finished potting these plants i am going to water them um so that they can take in the new water and then relax in their new environment and space i will see you next time don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you don't want me to bug you with links turn on the notification as well so that the moment the video is up you know what to do um remember we are not basic okay see ya my pong. dop i should do no way